Well, your daughter is missing. Yes, my daughter, Bangra. Forgive me. What was her name? How many times do I need to say it? You sent words about a lead, said that I should come see you about it. Of course, madam. Let me just... <sighs> Forgive me, why are you here? Is this some kind of sick joke? Do you have any idea what I've been through in these past few days? What is going on here? My daughter Vanra, my little girl, she's missing. Stupid, useless fist. Said she had a lead, but she must have been stuck in dream mist or something. Madam, tell me. You said she was taken from a tavern? Yes. The blushing mermaid down by the docks. I told you a hundred times. Why aren't you listening? I'm listening. Tell me what happened. Excuse me, citizen, but if this is a criminal matter, it's my business, not yours. Now, madam, if you'll just tell me why you're here, I'll take down the details. What is happening? I feel like I'm going mad! Have you searched for your daughter? I'll help you find your daughter. You will? Thank you. I haven't slept to read since she disappeared. I'm terrified something has happened to her. Her name is Vanra. She's seven years old and has red hair, like me. We were in the Blushing Mermaid when she was taken. Just stopped by the docks. Was anyone else with you? No, unless you count a couple of old drinking mates at the next table. But they'd be no help. They barely remember their own names. I was sober though. I swear. I stop in the maid for a drink sometimes. But it was only a quick one. You must have some witnesses, surely. Of course. The front of the house, Boston Gannett was there, and the owner of the Blushing Mermaid, Captain Grizzly. Neither lifted a finger to help me look. It was awful. I'll head to the Blushing Mermaid now. Thank you. I'll head home. Can't stumble being around these idiots any longer. Come find me the moment you hear anything. Commander Portier, Acting Marshal of the Fist. If you have a crime to report, please wait outside. We're currently at capacity. We've got rules. Jahira, Minsk's memory of his last time in this tap room is a little uh, fuzzy. Did he? Fear not, Rashomar. It has never been your way to overindulge. But. You did offend one of my contacts by letting Boo paddle around in her tankard. Pewter, I believe. She cracked it over your head. Oh, praise the three. Minsk was afraid he had shamed himself. I will, uh, leave a copper at the bar. Best leave two. I correct her with my own afterward. She was drinking grog. Boo's backside could only have improved it. No pissing or shitting. If you break it, you pay for it. Any fighting and Captain Grizzly or sank you. Got it? I'll follow the rules. Good. Welcome to the Blushing Mermaid. I'm here about the missing girl, Vanra. Gods above. Not again. You pull a knife on me like the last one and you're getting a boot, you hear? Who pulled a knife on you? 
That woman, Lara, Laura, whatever her bloody name is, she was screaming her head off about some kid. Tore the place apart. Ooh, bloody disturbing. Captain Grizzly had a clocker in the end. Threw her out on her arse. Good riddance. Dad, I'm not a cow you can sell on the market. Please, honey. Creditors are clawing at our door. This marriage will save the business. Just meet the Nielsen son. One meeting for us, for your family. Excuse me, sir, quick question. Would you marry a stranger so your family can make buckets of gold? Never. My life is my own. It's not just her life. It's her mother's, her sister's, mine for goodness sake. Do you want to see us on the streets? I want to be happy. And I already am. With Sasha. The peddler's daughter? I won't stay for this. Then leave. I... I've made up my mind. Fine, you ungrateful, miserable brat. But then the bosun would be good. Cool. Thank you. Here's to starting a new life, one of our own choosing. The captain is gonna belt the heads off these lads if they keep singing. Stick around. It's going to be quite the show. Want to hear a hot one? The other day, I met some folks who banded together to fight back. Against what, you ask? Hags. How stupid can you get? You know, Captain Grizzly, she glared at me once. Nearly pissed myself. It was amazing! Gotta stay sharp in case the captain calls on me. She likes a bit of pearl diving. Spot of keel hauling. Yo, argy bargy if you get me. Made it come. Ain't no better grizzly than captain. I mean, captain than grizzly. be bloody hung over in peace. Oh. Why, hello there. Captain Grizzly at your service. What can I do for a long drink of water like yourself? Doesn't a captain need a ship? You're standing in it, smart ass. Or our innards, at least. She may not sit on water no more, but she'll always be my ship. What services do you offer? Oh, there's drinks and plenty at the bar. Anything else? Well, those days are behind me, even for one as fine looking as yourself. I'm here about the missing girl, Vanra. Oh, not this clap trap again. Listen, Laura was here, all right? Knocking back pints like there's no tomorrow. But she was alone. I saw head nor ass of this so-called kid. And when we tried to kick her out, she pulled a knife on my front man. Bet she didn't tell you that bit, huh? How do I know you're not lying? I run a bar. What use would I have with some little one running around, crying and shitting? Look, I know Laura from my pirating days. She ran with Bart Blackdagger's crew. Heard they tossed her overboard when she gutted the bosun over a game of cards. Now, I'd no beef with her before this. All are welcoming the maid. But threatening my staff, claiming we took her kid, she's bonkers. <laughs> Dangerous. 
Next time she pulls a knife on me and mine, someone might die. Something has to be done. A child is missing. I just want to get to the bottom of this. Gods! Do I have to spell it out for you? There is no child. Laura is mad as a box of frogs. She's dangerous. And I couldn't call myself a captain if I stood by and did nothing. I hate that it's come to this, but I'll pay a hoard of gold to whoever scuppers her. Permanently. That's insane. No less insane than lying about having a kid. If you don't do it, I'll find someone else. You can make it painless. Not everyone will. Absolutely not. I refuse to do your dirty work. Oh, you're no fun. <laughs> I wanted you to stain your soul with the blood of an innocent mother. Oh, well. Yes, I'll just decorate the room with your insides. They'll match my new carpet beautifully. Hello, Petal. Miss me? I killed you! <laughs> Did you think you were the first? That I didn't plan for it, Petal? Marina ran off with the child I was promised. Because of you. So I had to find myself a new one. And little Vanra was so very tasty. You ate Vanra? You monster! Oh, Petal. She'll thank me for it. <laughs> Vanra sits in my belly, growing fat with power. In time, I'll vomit her up and have myself a fresh young hag to train. Unfortunately, that leaves me in a pickle. For while I'd love to rip your guts out, I shouldn't. Exertion is bad for the baby, you know. So, walk away. Walk away and let me a fine hag make. No. Surrender the child immediately. Or what? You'll kill me, touch me, and the girl dies. And I'll simply return, stronger than ever. <laughs> A woman in my condition should be relaxing in the bath, not dealing with this nonsense. I'll leave you to my crew, matey. And should you somehow survive, stay away, or Vanra will suffer. My hamster has dined on god flesh. You are but a tiny crumb! <laughs> found some remote bog to rot in. How high? <laughs> Can't give up now. Bloody hells, that was some ruckus. I catch you fighting any more drunks, I'll toss you all outside. Even if they did deserve a clatter. You need to leave. Captain Grizzly is a hag. You saw her change too. I tried to gut her, but she... She dug her claws in me and... Uh, 
Magic tickles your senses. Someone or something has tampered with his memory. Ah, hear me. I know the captain's a bit of a battle axe, but a hag. You're out of line. Found my daughter. The flaming Vistal have no clue. Useless twats! A hag took her. I saw it with my own eyes. The hag has her. Gods above. What does a hag want with Vanra? My poor child. You have to do something. You have to save her. I have no one else. Please help my little girl. Please! Is that supposed Latest to be? Latest Boulder's Mouth edition? Oh, dynamite! That lord is a Should have his own column. Warning. The property of the individual known as Old Garlo has been deemed unsafe for habitation under City Bylaw 42A. Do not enter. What about our Lord's refugees? They've got With a flip of the wrist. Raises even more. An intruder. These people are under my protection. I'll not let you harm them. Hearken to my words, wicked creature. Return to the pit of evil from whence you came. Calm down. I seek no trouble. Don't listen. Who knows what spells it weaves around us? Quickly, Cleric. Helm, protector of all. Grant me the power to ignite this creature's flesh and burn its bones to ash. Be gone, monster. Your hag mother holds no power here. Wait, I'm no hag spawn. I'm a faithful adherent, just like you. Wait, no Ethel spawn would speak like that. Forgive the welcome, but we're being hunted by a hag. The vicious Ethel herself, we feared you, her minion. She's already hexed one of us, and any of us could be next. I'm trying to figure out a way to kill Auntie Ethel. Any ideas? Marina, our leader, was onto something. Unfortunately, Ethel found out. How? I don't know. She hexed Marina in recompense. And everything we've done to try and lift it has been for naught. Marina? I know her. I saved her and her child. You're the one that saved her? The one that ventured to the depths of Ethel's lair? I can hardly believe it. You look so... normal. She's upstairs. But be warned. She's not as you remember her. Please help Lady Marina. She's nice and kind and sweet to Clint. Uh, to her, uh, everyone. You and Marina sound close. Friends only. Lady Marina is too pretty and kind for the likes of Cled. But if you can't stop the Hex, Cled will take care of her. Feeding, shearing, scratching behind her ears. Cled will do his best. Convenient, you showing up like this. You may have the others fooled, but I shall be keeping a close eye on you. Marina is an old friend. I wouldn't hurt her. Then stop wasting my time and go help her. Uh, 
I'm glad you're here. I clearly lack the power to keep the hag and her hexes away from Mayrina. You protected Mayrina until now. That's worth something. You are kind. But I serve Helm. And failing to keep this hex from Mayrina is unforgivable. In both his eyes and mine. Any idea how to remove the hex? None. The magic originates from a hag's twisted lair. Of that, I'm sure. But as to its cure, Helm has not revealed it to me. Helm. If... <laughs> Damn it! Mayrina, it's me. I'm here to help you, all right? Listen to, to me. The doll. The doll. What could a doll have to do with a profane hex like this? A hex like this would require a focus, a cursed object or idol. The doll. Fine. <laughs> A strange looking doll. <laughs> Vinkere! Vivere! Ah, it was the. You removed my hex. Ah, that's annoying. I wanted to play a little longer. Auntie likes her toys broken. She's not going to be happy I had to get my hands dirty. Your hex? You were behind this. I know you wish to hurt Auntie Ethel. I know the book is here. I will die before I let you touch a hair on her head. The hag charmed you. You don't know what you're saying. Ha! Huh. You have no idea how wrong you are. I have worshipped her for decades past, and will for decades more. Sweaty embrace. This has you now. You deserve this, treacherous prick. That lying, thieving, scaly little shit. Thanks for knifing the bastard. That makes twice you've saved me. I'm starting to think you're my guardian angel. You made an adorable sheep. Thanks, but my mouth tastes like mutton, and I'm itching in hard to reach places. I'm gonna make the witch that did this pay, and I have the means to do it. This group is made of survivors. People like me who've been hurt by hags. I brought them together to fight back. And it worked. The shitty red cap proves it. Ethel is here. How did she even survive? Ah, now that I can help you with. Check the safe in the back. I've done my homework on Hag since we last tangled with Ethel. And take whatever you need. I know it by heart anyway. The Dragonborn was Clay's friend. Why? Why would he hurt Lady Marina? He was only pretending to be her friend. It was all a ploy. But Lady Marina was kind to him. To us. 
Anyone who hurts Lady Mirina is Cled's enemy. But anyone who helps her is Cled's friend. Thank you. This is all my fault. Mayrina was hexed mere days after the Dragonborn joined us. Why didn't I see it? Hags and their agents are liars and cheats by nature. That's no excuse. I know what they're like. Yet still, I welcome the Dragonborn with open arms. Mayrina was right about you. Thank you for saving her when I couldn't. I know it. So just hang on. Unless the outcomes. To think no, but such things to find us. The girl is dead. We were close. So close to perfecting it. Another day and she would have been safe. But we were too late. It was too much for the mother. I found her swinging from the rafters this morning. Helm, forgive me for not saving her. Forgive me for not saving her child. Two years old and eaten alive by a hag. What is wrong with this world? But it doesn't have to be this way. I'm onto something. I know it. Hags have powerful digestive systems. It's what allows them to turn a child into a hag. However, their gut flora is incredibly sensitive to certain alchemical agents. With the right ingredients and helm on my side, I could theoretically force emesis, causing the hag to vomit up a... Stolen child. I both pray this works, and that I'll never have to use it. All but the most arrogant of hags, from night to Bior, know that death is a possibility. As such, they won't hesitate to bend the rules of the material plane to escape death's clutches, returning stronger than ever. To do this, hags use, of all things, the common and humble mushroom. By imbuing these spore-producing fungi with her essence, she can endlessly revive herself. Neither blade nor bow will do these fungi lasting harm. The very twisted magic that heals the hag defends them. Instead, fire is your ally. Burn the mushrooms to ashes, and your blade will strike the heart, hag's heart true. But a warning, hunter. Even in death, a hag is dangerous. Be quick, be swift, and be deadly. Ethel will be dead soon, and then you'll be all better. I know it, so just hang on. Connor, honey, don't wander off. Sorry, did it work? Is Ethel finally dead? How is your husband's condition? At the beginning, I saw a spark of the old Connor in his eyes. But recently, nothing. But I won't give up. I can't. Doubt about it. This is where the hag must be. Looks like a trap there.
My dear sweet Captain Grizzly, I've heard stories about you and what tales they were of mighty battles and magnificent sea monsters. There's a woman who'll never be caught with her knickers down, or so I thought. Imagine my surprise when I nabbed your precious bosom gannet from under your nose, and so easily. He's quite the resilient little bugger, hasn't said a peep about you, but he'll break. They always do. Meet me in the blushing mermaid's basement and come alone. Lots of love, Auntie. Step carefully. There's a trap. Yeah. Right tool will do the trick. Vanra, right now. No! Stay down! Ah! You cost me a fresh young hat! I'm going to paint the wall with your guts, you little shit stain! You're Vanra, right? Your mom sent me. It's a sad day in the maid. A sad and bloody day. <sighs> Captain Grizzly's dead. And my only comfort is you off their killer. A God's damned hag of all things. I think I killed the real captain. She was under the house control. Then I'm glad. The captain didn't take orders from nothing or nobody. She'd have picked death over the hag any day. 
She left me the maid. And well, it won't be the same without her. No, you're always welcome here, mate. What were them beasties? You brought her back. You brought back my sweet, sweet girl. The hag was my problem to deal with. It was everything. I'll never forget it. Here, a token from the pirate life I left behind. Thank you for being braver than half this city put together. We could go for a walk. Would you like that? Mommy, mommy. It's all right, it's all right, Vanra. We'll stay right here. Mommy. She's dead, isn't she? Ethel is dead. Yes, finally. Yes! Fuck you, Ethel, you miserable old bat! Fuck you for telling me I'd be an awful mom. That I was nothing but a pregnant half-wit. Oh, and the girl? You saved her too, right? Yes, she's traumatized, but alive. Oh, thank the gods! You hear that, Connor? Ethel is dead. Oh, you didn't change back. You're still a... a zombie. I thought with Ethel gone... Never mind. I'll... I'll find another way to turn you back. Somehow. He's never going to be human again. You have to let him go. I know. Damn it. I know. Connor. I love you. I've loved you since we were kids. And you picked me bluebells and asked me to the summer fair. But you're gone. And this... thing... Isn't you. Not anymore. I'm sorry you couldn't save him. Not everyone can be saved. I learned that lesson from Ethel. I just needed you to remind me. <sighs> Here. Thank you for killing Ethel, but I'd like you to go now. I'll be fine. I know I'm stronger than this. I just need some time. You'll be born any day. Kledge can't believe you killed the Auntie Ethel. You're amazing. Should you ever have a need of a Cleric of Helm, I shall be there. You have my word. <laughs>